Hi, it's Richard Rossi, founder and executive director of the National Leadership Academies. I hold in my hand the results of this year's survey of young people who attended the Congress, the delegates, and their parents. This survey is conducted by an outside organization. It's got a lot of scientific validity, and I am blown away, blown away by these results. I want to share them with you. And please understand that um, this is something I've really just understand intuitively because I'm with the young people and the parents all the time. But to actually see it on paper, it makes me feel just so wonderful because I want for these young people what you want and what I want for my own children, which is for them to be happy and successful in life, to get every trick, every technique, every method, every way that they can improve and be more confident in their own lives. And I'm happy to say that the Congress delivers on this in an extraordinary fashion. So, first and foremost, improvements in confidence and decision making. Over 90% of the delegates and their parents say that they improve their confidence and their decision making skills as a result of attending the Congress. Now, what's interesting is it's not just the delegates, it's also the way that the parents see the delegates, right? So that's that understanding that something really transformative happened over a relatively short period of time. And confidence, look, I think you and I both know life is a confidence game, right? If you don't have it, it doesn't matter how smart you are. Your ability to achieve is limited. And if you do, then the sky's the limit. And don't we want our kids to be better decision makers and not come to us all the time or not have any real capacity or enough capacity to understand how to make great decisions? Number two, embracing failing and feeling prepared to move forward and having the right tools to do so. Again, 90% or more of the delegates and the parents said that they embraced failing. So here's the thing. When you're in school, what's the one thing that, as a student, you're not supposed to do? Fail, because failing is an F. But in the real world, you fail over and over again. And one of the messages from all of the masters at the Congress is that they failed their way to success, that failure is where you get your biggest lessons, that failure is an inevitable and essential part of becoming successful. What an incredibly important lesson for a young person to embrace failure rather than see it as a deficiency, because it's not a deficiency. And yet in school, we learn it kind of is, right? But it's not. And all great men and women have failed over and over and over again. It's called testing. It's called experimentation. It's called trying stuff. And then getting up and just shaking it off and walking forward and trying again. So to have over 90% of the students and the parents seeing in the students this embracing of failure and feeling more prepared to move forward and then having the right tools to do so. And that's one of the things we teach at the Congress is the right tools. What is the information you need? What is the support you need? What is the system you need to be able to achieve your goals? Number three, this one is huge, huge. Parents now understanding their child more and what they're capable of. So parents come to the Congress in most cases with the young person or a family member, and then they experience the Congress in their own world. The kids experience it uh, in their own world, down on the floor, and the parents up in other parts of the auditorium and the stadium. But to understand your child more, to understand what they're capable of, and then to have a common language where you can talk to your child and help them to be happy and successful and achieve their goals and clarify their goals. Wow, that's really, really big. And going through this together, um, that actually happens 90% of the time or more. And then the next one is seeing self-confidence improve. Again, we've talked about that. It's just huge. Being self-confident is the key to success in life. Feeling their child has the tools and resources that they need now to move forward. Okay. Again, this is the whole issue of having the right set of tools, the toolkit to become successful in life. If you don't know what to do, if you don't have the right tools to get the job done, how hard is it to do? But if you do have the right tools, everything becomes so much simpler. And then 99%, 99% see a brighter future for their child. Wow. What's to stop? Let's pause, let's think about that for a second. And not only seeing it, but actually seeing how they are going to get there, right? So that they can help their child. And so their child can help themselves be so much more, so much more than they thought that they could be 
when they first attended the Congress. So that's also a big deal. And then the last thing, which is, I think, also huge, is that the parents and the child, in the vast majority of cases, said that they felt that they had a better understanding and appreciation for one another. And I don't know about you, but when my kids were teenagers, communication was always a challenge. Sometimes it was good, sometimes it wasn't so good, but we always wanted it to be better. And to go through an experience where you feel that you understand your child better, and whoa, that your child feels that he or she understands you better, that's priceless. So I think you see now why I'm so excited by this and why I wanted to share it with you right away. Thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you soon.